Welcome to episode 5 of Calm Before the Clash, where we look at teams in the HGC ANZ and Copa America competitions. In today's episode, we feature matches between Nomia, Outlaws, Improx, Crimson, QM Warriors, and Downfall. Outlaws took on Improx, formerly known as Nekomimi, in the opening round of the week and were at risk of failing to live up to expectations with their 2-2 record before the round. There were high stakes for the newly sponsored Improx had the chance to impress their organisation with a big win. This was not to be the case with Outlaws taking a convincing 2-0 match victory. Outlaws would go on to also defeat Aztec in the round and now sit in equal second spot on the ladder with a 4-2 record. Mprox will have to wait another week for their elusive first win of the Premier Division. Really, really well, catching out, hiccup on the Rhaegar. They are indeed, this is a fantastic pickup and a morale boost, if anything, if they can find a second kill, even better, and yes, they do. Sight right now, it's a 3v5, but look at the Moshpit coming across, Ancestral Connects as well, and look at the hole, just go Q, 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 spamming better of life, getting kills, and he still survives, he does fall on down, but that's because the both for the it's a two for one trade right now. As Touch Me says, come on guys, we can do this, let's bring the pain, Coffee rocks up to the fight, but it's not going to be enough, Surreal falls on down, this is a close fight, Oh, the Riptide, Vandy, just <laughs> look at the disgustingness of that. As Coffee oh comes online like a God. Hollywood movie, he drops the mine, he goes for the kill. Oh my goodness. Uh, to wrap up the evening, it was Crimson versus QM Warriors. QM Warriors were hoping to ride the momentum gained after their upset win against Downfall, but Crimson had a point to prove after previously dropping a set to Downfall in week two. Crimson were in fine fighting form and played a very clean set of games to decisively beat QM Warriors 2-0. Dragon's arrow from downtown and the corruption, the corruption. Perfect! Pressure that he said, but look at this coming out of the choke, the Junkrat! Displacement is out! Is low, the boss bump connects to Vine Shield and Sanctification! They both come down at immaculate times, but the grenades from downtown, Tommy, no! The echo of elements coming into their own, slapping on through, protected! For a quad, KBA is low, but Altivian flies across the map, followed up by the lurking arm, now looking for the queen! Five man ace! Surely Burrows, he gets shoved, and he falls to the floor. So much pressure on their base that it would just really limit, but with that boss going down so low, they're coming back in, looking for that steel sanctification. Earthquake. Oh, so, so close, but it's too little, too late. The boss does get achieved, but at what cost? That's what we're going to find out. Sanctification. Beautiful there, as they get a triple kill, so you get the boss, but we are the boss, because we are the ones that get the kill. Thursday night was a real treat for the ANZ Premier Division as Nomia featured in a double header of matches. First they took on Crimson Gaming, the team most experts thought would be the real challenge to Nomia this season. However, Nomia showed why they are number one in the ANZ power rankings with a 2-0 win. Outstanding team play allowed them to come from behind on Tomb of the Spider Queen and take the victory. Crimson again put on a solid performance on Dragonshire, but Nomia stood strong and took the win. Gonna be late as is Tracer, so Azul will be late to this party. Ryu goes in, gets a great force of will. Jezmez is on the point, and have a look at the Wraith Walk, find him value. Crimson need to get in there, they need to help him out, provide some kind of assistance. March gets a double, but the boss is gonna go over to Nomia. Azua, as quick as he joined the fight, was taken out. The ley line goes in, and I think this could be GG's. The Harker falls, but Crimson have lost two. They're about to lose Shadow as well. There is no Twilight Dream, there is no hope. And that Next on Nami's agenda, the much hyped clash with Downfall. The hype didn't play out and Nami took their second 2-0 victory of the evening. Nami are clearly the front runner for one of the two spots for ANZ teams at the Intercontinental Clash. They remain undefeated and don't look like they'll be losing anytime soon. They were down, they were out, but they were not dead. And here comes the red ball and all that does is just open up the top lane for Nomia. They're gonna secure that in goes the Entomb. And the Chogol just gets saved by the Crystal Ages. It collects three in the end. Finally, this time he makes his way into the bunker. Comes back out, however, and meets Sweet Sweet Doom out of the frying pan and into the fire. Blaze, you need to be careful. Is he gonna get caught out? The ghouls go in from Arthas. The cleanse is good. There's the Warden's Cage. Huge Blaze going in and there it is in the bunker. The Mosh Pit collects three. In goes the Ancestral. And good night downfall. That is the Nomia pain train knocking on your doorstep. Shrek gets taken down as well. 
but look how deep Blaze is here. He's sitting back there, but the engage is on. Nomia give chase. They secure the kill on the Li Ming. This could be it here, Disco. They're marching into the bot lane. Frost Presence goes in. Shrek gets taken down. Konya receives the stim, uh, the stim drone just in the nick of time, but is fighting a losing. After week three, the standings look like this. Be sure to tune in to Blizzard underscore ANZ on Twitch from Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7.30pm AEDT to see which teams will rise or fall in the HGC ANZ. And if you missed the matches live, VODs are available to watch on GameStar TV via YouTube.